Hi guys and welcome to another Fairy Friday video. Today, I am not in my bedroom. I am in my lounge room and the reason for that is because there's a lot more room here than compared to my bedroom. Also, there's a TV so I can watch something while I'm doing this. Now, I know you may be wondering, what are you doing? Well, the answer is working on my second fursuit. That's right. I made Leon and now I'm going to make another one. I really enjoyed making Leon so that's why I wanted to try out making another one and today I'm going to make Hale. Now in case you don't know this is what Hale looks like. He is a cat, a domestic house cat um, and he's just a really simple design so I figure he would be good as a second suit and a first full suit. That's right I'm gonna make him into a full suit. Now today I'm not actually going to be putting any of the fur on or anything like that because I don't actually have any fur. <laughs> um, however, I am going to create a second mock-up of his face. That's right, I said second. Because I have already made one. Uh, it's this one. And as you can see, his eyes are absolutely massive. So I'm going to make a second one of these. Um, so I'm going to glue, the, glue it all together, make a second one completely like this, and then make small eyes for him to see which one works out better. Now, for Hale, I've wanted to do a balaclava base, which means you put a balaclava on your head, well, not on your head, but you, you build the suit, like the head, onto a balaclava. That's different to her Leon here, as Leon is a foam head base. Um, so he is completely made out of foam, um, so he's all, like the whole thing is squishy, like at the back is all squishy, all of that, everything is made out of foam, whereas for Hale, he's going to not be as squishy, like his mouth will be squishy, squishy and his cheeks will be squishy, but um, like the back of his head will just be a balaclava. So let's get started. So the first thing I need to do is obviously cut the foam, however the foam that I'm using is old sofa cushions so I actually need to break into those by cutting up the seat uh, cushion covers. Um, however it also does give me a bit of stuffing that I can use later on which is nice. Next up I get my pre-made pattern and I uh, trace around it onto the foam. I give a bit of room in between the actual line and the pattern. So I, if I make a mistake, it's not that much of an issue. I then cut it up. I'm using an electric foam knife. Um, and about here, I get a chopping board because I was freaking out that I was going to scratch the floor and break the knife. So I'm trimming it up. So I'm using an electric knife for the bulk of it. And then for the smaller bits, I do pull out a pair of scissors as seen here. So I do make two parts for the uh, jaw, two parts for the muzzle. Um, and then two parts for the part between the eyes um, and so I ended up uh, sticking them all together once they were trimmed. So as you can see here I now have the two parts of each thing and the two eyebrows and here I am sticking them all together and it's actually quite a lengthy process to stick them all together because you need to make sure that they're really stuck on um, but then after that you can trim them all up and make them look how you want it. I also made a little nose for him, um, and you have to, you uh, cut a length out of the muzzle so you have room for the nose. You do the same for the jaw so you have room for the tongue. Here, what I'm doing is I'm actually um, cutting up the foam roughly in half, um, so I have a thinner bit of foam to make the face base out of. Now, I wasn't originally going to do this, but then I decided that I wanted to actually make a proper mock-up with a Bella Flava and everything, so I ended up making a face base and then getting an old piece of fabric and making a Bella Calava myself. So that's why I'm doing this now and all of this cutting ends up being useless because I actually just ended up ruining half of the fabric, uh, half of the foam um, and I end up using the other half anyway. <laughs> so here I am cutting out the face base and I've done that now and it's on the Bella Calava and I'm sticking everything together I end up ripping the nose off because I didn't really like it and it looked more like a cat's nose than a dog's nose. And then I also make the cheeks, um, which I will stick on in the next video, hopefully. So 
So guys, that's it for this week. Now I just want to show you what I started with and then what I finished with, okay? So I started with... Started with this one. And then I ended with... With this. Now I know it doesn't really uh, look that much. It, only, it really only looks like I took away the eyes and I put like the plain mask um, and the balaclava. I did end up making a balaclava myself. Um, I don't know if that's in the, like me sewing it isn't in this video. Um, so yeah, I, I did do that as well and I decided to kind of put this one together as a mock-up. I don't think this one will end up being hail because I think, personally, I think it actually looks more like a dog than a cat. So I might make this one either forest or um, Jogo. And by the way, Jogo is um, the character that I um, painted a few weeks ago, uh, the blue, brown and yellow dog. So I might make this one either Jogo or forest. Or just another random dog character. And then this one, at the moment, is still Hale with really, really big eyes. <laughs> so, if you have any tips about fursuit making, please leave them in the comments below. It would be much appreciated. Um, as I'm obviously working on more fursuits. Um, so I would really appreciate any advice you have, any tips and tricks. Literally anything you have, leave in the comments below planning on making hail into a full suit so if you have any tips to making a full suit that would also be much appreciated don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for future fairy friday videos and more videos of me making hail and whoever this is <laughs> all right guys i'll see you next week bye